bringing you the NBA here on 2K Sports. What it is, everybody, it's your boy Shout Dog coming at you with another 2K rank match. And yeah, I'm bringing y'all something a little bit different today. Um, I think I don't maximize my potential as far as playing with the Lakers on rank matches. I mean, I know what each player can do. I know the whole playbook. I know where I want to go every time in the game. So I said I'm gonna give myself a little bit of uh, a little bit of a challenge to play with all the teams in rank matches until 2K13 comes out. Really, I'm just trying to burn off time until 2K13 comes. I'm kind of you know excited for it. But um, yeah, you see right here, I chose to run with the Pacers, and this guy he chose the Nuggets, and that's what I'm gonna do, man. For the from now on, I'm gonna just bring y'all different teams, you know, as far as rank matches, and y'all just let me know what other team y'all want me to play with. I think the next team I have lined up to play with, I went in and I tried to practice with them to learn all the um, all the jump shot releases is the the Hornets. I'm gonna try to go with. You know, the more lesser known teams, the teams that people really don't play with online. I'm going to do the Hornets next. And from there, y'all just let me know what team that y'all will want to see me play with. And right here, I never played with the Pacers. This is my very first time ever playing with the Pacers. If I play with a team, a regular team online, I'm only going with the, the Lakers because, I mean, I know the playbook. You see, that was just a beautiful set pick and roll for Danger Granger. I mean, I know every play in the playbook. I know where I want to go. I know what players, you know, where the spot at is on the court where they can shoot at. I don't really look for hot spots, but I know where every player can shoot at as far as the Lakers. You know, and I really didn't want to put that time and that effort in with another team because I took a whole lot of time to learn the whole Laker roster in the playbook. So, um... You see, I'm running plays. I'm gonna still play sim with each team that I play with. I'm not. I'm gonna play the same way that I play with the Lakers. Now, if you see me play with another team, the offense probably not look as smooth as when I play with the Lakers and running the offense because you see right there, that's just uh, David West, man. I, I, I mean, I, I like this team, but it's not gonna run as smooth as when I do when I play with the Lakers. So. I'm a run plays, but it's gonna most of the time it's gonna be plays that I never ever seen before. It's just gonna be me experimenting. And you see right there, that's uh Paul George. He pulls up for the uh you see we just play real good defense, get the ball out, and David West, all people running the break. We get the layup to go. So right now to start the game off, I'm really loving the team. I, I like the um the jump shots. I mean it's a real good jump shooting team. You know, and I'm gonna try to. I really want to put up another video with this team, but I'm gonna try to run through every team that I can, as many as teams as I can, and um, see see what I can do. You know, I'm not gonna put any time in as far as learning the players. Really, all I do when I play with a different team, I just try to learn the jump shot releases. That's all I really want to do. I'm not gonna go in and try to learn the playbooks. I'm gonna just run plays. And you know, just see what the diagram shows on the court, and that's what I'm gonna run. You see, right here, he tried to double team me. I throw it back down in the hip. He played off ball D the whole game, but really didn't have a, um, a problem with this guy's gameplay. I mean, he is playing with the Nuggets, and you know, I see a lot of times that when people play, if you play a, a lesser known team, they pair, they probably pick a different team too. Because this guy, he picked the Heat, you know, they see my, my gamer tag when I hop in the uh, game. They see I rep Laker Nation. They already know I'm going to go in with the Lakers. They probably think I'm going to choose with Kobe. You see that's uh, Jabril McGee. That's just real good D by him. Swatted that shit to end off the uh, first quarter. So we only up by two. I'm loving the team. But uh, a lot of players, they see my gamer tag and they know that 100% uh, of the time I'm going to go with the Lakers. So, you know, they try to pick any other team. They try to match up with the Lakers. But this guy, he saw my gamer tag. He went straight to the Heat. And I went to the Pacers, and he was like, well, okay, well, if you're going to play with the Pacers, and I guess I'll play with a team that probably can match up a little bit better with them, and he picked the Nuggets. So, uh, I mean, it's respect to this guy. I didn't send him any, you know, messages after the game or anything, but I, I didn't have a problem with the way that he played. But this Nuggets team has and you see right here, that's where I'm going to get a lot of my points from. A lot of my points that I'm going to get in this game is going to be from putbacks. And I don't know if they gave me 
you know the advantage because you know sometimes on the rain matches if you don't know i know it, it's a difference sometimes it'll give you certain advantages in certain areas like you hit more threes you can rebound more better um they give you advantage of steals and i guess i just had the advantage of rebounding in this game because i don't know if this game if this team is just a real good hustle team but I got like a lot of pullbacks, a lot of second chance points because I was missing a lot of jumpers with different people because just off me experimenting with them. But uh, yeah, I mean, from the first game that I played, they were real good hustle. You see Tyler Hands, bro. And he has a really nice jumper, too. You see, I'm just trying to force it in with Amino. I think that's Amino and Hansburg put it right back. For the pullback, so I get a lot of my points off of pullbacks. I mean, I love this team. And you see right here, he just goes to the rack. This guy, he played with the Nuggets like the Nuggets usually play. Cause you know, if you play the Nuggets in real life, the Lakers, whoever, they like they're a team that likes to run a lot. They're not a team that has a, a real set half court offense. They try to you know play play you in zone and try to steal the ball from you, try to get you know a stop and they can just run right back down and try to get an easy two. So. You know, uh, if he did that with this team, I really couldn't be mad at it. You see, he plays real good D. I mean, that's what the, the Nuggets ain't like to do. But, um, but yeah, man, I, I I love this team, the Pacers. I really want to play a couple more games with them. I just played this game yesterday. So this is a fresh new game that I just played. It, it's not one that's been sitting on my hard drive. So we coming down to the end of the first half. We get the stop to end off the quarter. And that's what it is, man. We still up by two. So we still had a lead right now. And I did play with my bench. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Whenever I, the first quarter ended, I brought my bench in. So I don't really tweak the bench and put different players. I know for one thing, if I play with the Pacers again, I would never play with Barbosa. If y'all know how to play with Barbosa, I mean, his shot release is just terrible. So I'm never going to play with Barbosa. He would just, man, I can't do that no more. I mean, this guy, I was hitting him with wide open threes, and he was not hitting them. And not even just threes, but just two. You see the David West, that hustle player again, he put gets the putback for the N1, and his free throw was just terrible. I didn't practice the free throws at all. And you see he pulled up that quick free throw. We try to hustle and get the ball. He gets the ball right yeah, back. Tough break, guys, for David and he West pulls up the mid-range. Can't be mad at that. But uh, another thing I want to talk about, man, is this uh, 2K13 community team-up program. Uh, this is, in, in my opinion, I feel like this is a real good move by 2K Sports. Because they never ever did something like this before. I wish I was one of the big commentators. I wish I had, you know, my channel was real big while I was well known. And so I could go out there and make that trip. But uh, congratulations out to those guys. I don't really, I'm not subscribed to any of those. You know, I'm not subscribed to any big uh, 2K commentators. I'm, the only one I'm really subscribed to as far as uh, 2K that's pretty big is uh, Shakedown. And I don't know if he made it to that trip or what. I feel like he should. And uh, I hope he gets out there because from what I hear and from what the community is saying, they, they pick people that know how the game's supposed to play. You know, they criticize the game a whole lot. You see that animation and one play. Gallinari. Like, come on, man. Gallinari. And one animation done, really. But, um... Uh, but yeah, man, it's a good move by 2K. And like I said, I'm anxious to play 2K13, man. I'm real, real anxious. I really want to see how this game is going to play. I have to give them, a, you know, big props for making that move because this just show you that if you're going to make a move like that to send people out, because from what I hear, the people that they chose, and, you know, I don't watch their videos, but, you know, on Twitter and different places, they said these are the main people that criticize the game. So if, if if they putting out people that they know criticize their games, they get a lot of views, and I'm pretty sure that the 2K people, you know, the devs that they watch these these uh 2K videos, and they see what the the community wants, and they see what we complain about. I mean, if they want to make that step of saying that you know we gonna fly all y'all out here, we gonna pay for it just for y'all to play the game. They must be real confident about the game. I don't know what's going on with Live 13 from what I'm hearing. It's going to be canceled. Uh, but I guess they're seeing the big moves that 2K is making. I really don't care about the big announcement as far as well, the so-called big announcement where they say, uh, 
Jay Z, he's the uh, executive producer, because I was like, what did Jay Z know about gaming? But you know, he owns part of the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets, so they bought him in and they want him to do the soundtrack. I like the soundtrack though. I don't know why he bought back Kanye West. Amazing. That was on 2K10. I think 2K11. I think it was 2K11 that Amazing was on. But um, I like the. The soundtrack and let Jay Z pick the songs that's gonna be in 2K13. I think that was cool, but the main thing that I'm I'm proud of is that they actually bringing out people to test the game out. And you already know, most likely it's a finished product. Uh, if there's something wrong with the game, I hope those guys won't be yes men and just you know just being happy and for them paying they, for their trip to go out there. You know, just being yes men and agreeing to everything and saying that the game is good when they know it, on the inside it really don't. But um, I have a feeling that those guys is going out there. They won't do that. So I'm just praying and hoping, man, that when they play these games and they go head to head you know they let them get a real good inside look at the game i hope that the game looks good and i hope they report give us a good report coming back saying what the game looks like how it plays because really you know presentation is good um announce announces all that is good but my whole thing is about gameplay and that's the only thing that i'm really worried about of course you know you want upgrades to the crowd you want upgrade announcing you know so it won't seem so repetitive um, but that's what I'm really worried about but you know me I'm an online gamer so I'm really concerned about the the online aspect of 2k and you see right here I just got all just just totally off of the game we into the fourth quarter I think I'm down by four we get down and I'm really in trouble right now so I'm trying to figure out what can I do to bring this game back you know get back on track so I think we are by I really can't even see it but I think we down by I don't know I can't see the score but I know we down and I said I really don't know this this team and it's not like the Lakers were okay well it's time to go in with Kobe with time to go in with the Saul but we fight back though and you see I think we got it down to two and you see I'm gonna just let it run from uh, this point on just to show y'all the defense that we play, you know, I just, I don't know, who this, this little man right here dunking, man, that's George Hill. George Hill is a real good point guard for this team. But, uh, yeah, we tied it up with that dunk. He goes right back down, try to get that layup with Taj Gibson. It's not Taj Gibson, man, Ty Lawson. Try to get the layup with Ty Lawson, we block it. He goes out of bounds off of his body. So we got the the game is tired right now. I know that I'm gonna try to go in with I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna have to go in with somebody. I don't know what's gonna happen right here. I know I'm just trying to run a play. Back and down is Hibbert. It looks ugly so far. I don't know what's gonna happen. Goes up with it. Oh, that's a yeah. That's what's up. We get the big man. It's a two point Hibbert in the uh, post. And there's the feed to Brewer. But uh. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm really excited about 2K13 and the team up program. You see right there, he was just blocking from behind. We playing real good D. I'm saying to myself, I don't want to let this game go. I don't want to let this, you know, this game slip through my hand. Danger Granger haven't did nothing for this whole game. So I said, this is the best time to go ahead and get him in a post. He got a little man on him, turn around, get the jumper. We up by four now. So we playing real good. You see right here, he's just trying to force something in there. Kenneth Reed, he missed the shot. We get it down into uh, we got George Hill. I'm gonna try to get him in a post. And you see they gonna they gonna like triple team Roy here, but leave George Hill in the corner wide open. You so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not passing that up. Wide open three. You might as well just count that as you know that's game right there. That's it. You might as well just go ahead and hang it up, dude. But uh, yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all think about the the, the the community 2K program. I'm really concerned about online. I hope they bought back the leads as far as bringing back, um, you know, just bringing back the decisions that the admins can make. You know, bringing back all because we didn't have any kind of. What do I want to say? I'm, I'm getting all tied up right here, man. I'm. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm falling off right now. But uh, they didn't give us any control in the, in the leagues. And that's what I hated about the leagues in 2K12. I think they stripped it down. Just stripped it all the way down. Just left us with no kind of control as far as what we want to do and the decisions what we want to make. 
So I hope that's back. But the the big thing that I hope that for all the 2K players, even though that I don't play it at all, I never played it, probably never will. Is the people that's concerned about uh crew. I don't see them bringing out those guys to play the game because I know the first thing that a lot of them go ask about is crew. So I think I'm confident that 2K brought back crew for the players that do like to play crew. So. I hope y'all have y'all game modes back, man, because I know I'll be pissed off if they took away online leagues or rank matches. So, I hope they bring y'all game back. You see right now, that's the um, Roy Hibber. He's a player of the game. I know this commentary was all over the place. But, um, yeah. So, I hope they bring back the crew for everybody that plays uh, the crew mode. And let's just see where it goes from here, man. I hope them guys bring back some, some real good... Reports as far as how the game play. You see, Roy Hibbert had ten points. You know what I'm saying? He put he put in his his work or whatever. And I'm gonna try to play with another team. I think you see right here, right here. I just did a total fail. I don't know what I was doing, just going through the menu. But uh, he got balanced scoring on his team. A flawless was his his biggest score. So I give him props, man. I don't I can't talk about this guy's game at all. But we get balanced scoring everywhere too. And um. We coming down to the end of the video. Y'all let me know what team y'all would want to see me play with next. Uh, I'm going to bring the Hornets, but y'all let me know what team you want to see me. A low-ranked team. Let me know. It's your boy Shout Dog. I'm signing off. Y'all have a good one.